The following video may contain stuff for mature audiences like cussing, swearing, and nudity. Just kidding, I lied about the last one, so let's jump right into this shit. Hello, guys. Oh. Welcome to Dimensional Jumpers. I'm joined with my young compatriot special guest, Sebastian. So is Reaper. No. Oh. Oh, that's strange turn of events. I'm Snake or Sab. You're and I one. am Hunky25 or Solus Reaper. Either one. You do many things. Also known as uh, Zach because it's easy. Yes. Let's go ahead and get right into this game by hitting that start button. I did. I didn't. What the? Am I supposed to read uh, that? No, it's, it's voiced. I, I can't understand. It's in Japanese. Don't worry about it. They can read it. ここでは真実を語っているんであって断じて中二病の妄想なんかじゃないきっかけはほんの些細なことだとしてもそれが未来の大きな流れを決定づけてしまうこともあるです was actor sound do not move the window it freezes the whole thing apparently sorry about that guys why did you just i did this was actor sound familiar man I think he voice acted, and uh... It sounds like a mixture of the Sasuke, from, you know, the Japanese one, and the guy from Ajin, the main character. I honestly think it is the main character from Ajin. Doesn't that sound like it? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is one of my favorite anime slash visual novels. I haven't paid played all the visual novel though, because it's kind of bored playing it by yourself. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little secret, yeah, Zach. I have no idea what the fuck is going on right now. You're supposed to be reading. <laughs> I, uh, what, wasn't paying attention. <sighs> he does talk, he's saying I'm talking. He's saying visions or something. Okay, just start paying attention now. I, I like how he just yelled at you, pay more attention. <laughs> That's literally what he said, pay more attention. I sing that. I sing. Oh, it's a TV. Alright, I'll give you a brief rundown. He said that he was screwing around with some experiments and stuff, just chunk. Oh, darn it. Never mind. Is this an actual 3D planet? Oh, it's supposed to be a JPEG. Oh, that's awesome. Just a clouds. Uh, the way it ro it's rotating, I think it's actual 3D planet. Just with some low resolution clouds. I can see that. So far, not bad. Uh, woman! Alright, Do I click some? Uh, yeah, we have to. You can. You what can either click? hit enter Anywhere? or just click. Um, I'm gonna hit enter. There's no sound from the phone against my right ear, only silence. Okay, I guess you're playing as Is the that... main character. Thank you for taking that roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, no! <laughs> Sorry, I was being. Uh, okay, I'll do it. How do I know who's who? It's still the main I'm character. Baking in the yeah, sun. it's the main character. Sweat slowly slides down my chin and drips onto the asphalt. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> you got scared! <laughs> Alright, that's all you meant. <laughs> the girl is stand. Uh, uh, no, I'm not voice acting her. She has a Japanese voice acting. There's a lot of lines in this in this visual novel that doesn't have voice. So. My name's Okarin? Yeah, your name is Okarin. A girl was standing in front of me. She calls my name with an inquisitive. What the fuck? Inquisitive. 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 Yeah. 
Thanks. Thank you. Inquisitive tilt of her head. We are about to infiltrate deep into enemy territory. Yet, despite the imminent risk of death, there is no hint of tension on her innocent, childlike features. Wait, what? <laughs> I cover my, <laughs> I cover my phone's mouthpiece and turn to the girl with an index finger to my lips. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you talking to someone? We're talking to someone? Huh? Are we talking to someone? I nod and put my phone back to my ear. <laughs> Still no sound from the other <laughs> Wait, what? This guy, he's a little bit of a... Are we he's insane? a little bit of a schizophrenic, in a way. Oh. In a way. <laughs> I can hear the emotions in my head! They're coming for me! <gasps> my contact is wise to maintain silence. The whole area could be bugged. Oh, wait a oh. minute. Why the fuck does it say Rintaro at the bottom? Okabe Rintaro, it's his last or first name, whatever. Oh. Well, he had his voice, so I don't no, have to no, say that now. No, say it, since you've already been saying uh -oh. his inner mo monologue. Alright, uh, okay. I don't know. I was just talking to someone. Everything's fine. I'm about to infiltrate the assembly hall. Still no reply. Looks like they just want my report. It's too dangerous to waste time talking here anyway. Yeah, Dr. Nakabachi got to jump on us. But I'll make sure he tells us everything. Don't fucking! Don't laugh at me! Nakabachi, is it? I said it right, didn't I? Nakabachi? I don't know. Oh, uh, close enough for me, man. Uh, enter. A nani? You can hit. Uh. What? The organization's already on the move. Don't click next yet. Uh. Don't click next. The organization. Oh, never mind. You, you don't have a choice. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was written in lead, uh, red. So you know, you gotta be something. <laughs> yeah. Let me know when to hit. Oh yeah, I already. I'm already on the next page. Wait for you. <laughs> oh, I open my eyes. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I open my eyes wide to match my shock tone. Oh, a woman. A girl turns towards me in surprise. I turn towards her in surprise too. She's scared the fuck <laughs> on me. I sigh. <sighs> Checking my head as I rub my temples. I guess I got a migraine coming along, Zach. I see. So that's the choice of Stein's Gate. El Sai Kangaroo. No, what? come on. El Sai Kangaroo. El Sai Kangaroo. El Sai Kangaroo. Oh! I speak the parting words, then pocket my cell phone. Stein's gate. Some know it is as. Wait, what? Oh, I read it on the next Stein's gate. Some know it as fate. To others, it is the will of God. <laughs> of course you would do that. You could count on one hand. Uh, <laughs> you could count on one hand the people in this world. A way of its true nature. In any case, we should begin the infiltration. I advance towards Radicon, which is just across the street from the train station. Is that like a, a DVD store? Or a Hantai store? Ah, uh, no. Oh. Is it like a hospital? Oh, wait, hold it's a place. Uh, just read. <laughs> It'll explain. Okay. Of course, this enemy territory. I can't just drive to the front door like an average person. This enemy. T okay. It's fine. It's fine. What? This. I, I read no, it, didn't I? this is enemy territory, but it's all good. It's all good. Oh, uh, sorry. I gotta put my glasses on. Oh, you don't even have your glasses on, man. What the heck, bro? Yeah, well, yeah, I agree. I'm doing quite yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> I bypassed the elevators. 
and escalators and head to the eighth floor by the stairwell. Uh, I gotta put my glasses on. Give <laughs> <laughs> like that. One momentary awesome. silence. <laughs> But I only make it to the seventh floor before I have to stop and rest. He is a woman. The girl. Is that Sheena? Yes. China? Sheena Mayuri. Mayuri. Immediately resumes that. The girl. <laughs> Sheena Mayuri immediately resumes our conversation. She followed me all the way here and she. Isn't even short of breath. I, on the other hand, am gasping for the air with my hands on my knees. <gasps> <gasps> Who would have thought an eight story building would be so tall? No, no shit! <laughs> I turned to my Uri while weapon a sword off my brow. Oh, yeah, it's that girl. <laughs> If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> My Yuri smiles happily and doesn't cry any further. As always, she is quick to understand my position. We've known each other since we were both little. My Yuri is 17, two years younger than me. So she's more like a little sister than a typical childhood friend. Wait, that means we're like 19? I, I, I guess... Okay. 19 or 20. I've been looking out for her as long as I can remember. I used to hope that Mayuri might become the key to Stein's Gate, but now I've reconsidered. I don't want that terrible fate of her. Oh! I don't want that terrible fate for her. She should live a normal life. That is my present wish. Oh, so he's like, I'll sacrifice you, and then I'll say, No, I like you too much. You, you mine now. Yeah. We continue to the eighth floor and enter the assembly hall. In front of us stands a cheap-looking stage with a podium and a sign reading "Doctor Naka Beach Naka Naka Blah 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 Time Machine Press Conference." I'm gonna call him that for now. Naka Blah Blah Blah. Is that how she- <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> My area insists on coming Okarin. Okarin? Okarin. Eh, yeah, whatever. Okarin. But it's neither my real name, nor my code name. It's just one of those annoying nicknames for these- <gasps> Oh! How many times do I have to tell you? Don't call me Okarin. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta say it in that type of time. How the fuck am I gonna say that? Come on, I believe in you. That was then. I have since become Hoyang Kyoma. The insane mad scientist hunted by secret organizations the world over. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Oh, that was actually pretty good. That's too hard to me. New tips, got new tips, true name. In any case, Ho. 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 You should just say it every time so you don't mess up. Say it like that. Oh, you and Juma! Yeah. <laughs> Besides, it doesn't even sound like Okabe oh, Rina. Oh, I don't know why I added that. Uh, Rina. Rintaro. <laughs> you weird. She's calling us weird? Well, actually, yeah, we are kind of weird. Never mind. Yeah, dude, we're really weird. See your foolish laughter. Come on now, Zach. Okabe Rentaro may be my real name, but I have rejected it, for it is stupid. And so, I also hate the derivative. Uh, uh, hello, English, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna read it. And so, I also hate the derivative, Okarin. Okarin. Oh, oh, that's better. 
I'm gonna call it whatever the fuck I want. Shut up. Uh. Come on, it sounds like that Elf Boy's blue pipe thing. So she says, so what a... <laughs> In one ear and out the other. She's been calling me that for five years now, so maybe it's time to give up. What is happening? Yeah, right. Oh. You good? Yeah. Alright. Come on. Say your line. Wait. You followed me here without knowing? Why? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How's that a yuck? All I was. <laughs> what the fuck? Whatever. I'll go with the flow. She nods without dropping her. It's like no. how Americans go. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. We're here for that Nakamala -na 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 press conference. We're standing in the assembly hall on the eighth floor of Radi Khan. It is here that the conference will be held. Yeah, well don't we know that already? Okay. You didn't apparently. <laughs> Even though we came here just for that reason. Whatever. Dr. Nabalula is an inventor. No. He appears on TV. I'm talking about you. Now what? I'm talking about you. Because oh, you're oh, like, me. oh, this building's for like Japanese, like, this week in manga now. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's like pretty much like PAX and yeah. like, conferences yeah. and all that. <coughs> Dr. Nabalula is an inventor. He appears on TV from time to time and has a few patents under his belt. But mostly he is treated as a curiosity. Hmm. Yeah, where are the reporters? Uh, My ear is right. <clears throat> I've scanned the entire hall, but there's no one who looks like a reputable reporter or cameraman. That's actually a good, valid point. Where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> There are only about 10 of us standing in the hall, including me. I literally don't see anybody. Imagination, Sam! Okay, I count 12. <laughs> Considering Nakabula's moderate media presence and the fact that he claims to have invented a time machine, I would have expected more. He, he invented the time machine? He claims it. So. Could this be the organization's working? It's twisted influence? I twist my lips into a sneer. With that, that, knock up little, little, was like me. A scientist fighting to overthrow the organization. But this conference, uh, but this press conference suggests other motives at work. Our enemies won't miss a chance. This chance. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'd prefer to not get wrapped up in this mess. Nevertheless, I'm interested in what he has to say. That's why I'm here, blowing an afternoon of my precious summer holiday. My area ponders. Oh, I did say it right. Um, okay, <laughs> whatever. My area ponders my utterance for a while before we finally turning her head. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> It's his birth. Does that mean it's her birthday? I don't mm. know. I think it's his birthday. I let that aside. Uh, my area is known to not only make bad jokes, but to laugh at them too. Sounds like you. <laughs> what am <laughs> <laughs> like jerk. Oh, no, it sounds like me. Yeah, it sounds more like you, Matt. <laughs> She's always been special. Mayuri, Kyosuke. Keep your guard up, Mayuri. I suspect this won't be a normal conf. Is your fight there that? I didn't even finish my sentence. I didn't even get to do that. Are we under attack? Are they trying to fire our brains with electromagnetic waves? What the fuck is going on? 
Earthquake! Ah! Is it an earthquake? <laughs> Dust falls from the ceiling as a full shape. <laughs> we're definitely under attack. It's going from above. But oh, we're on the top floor. Oh, that's above us, the roof. <laughs> An earthquake is a magnitude two. She doesn't even know what to say. It's a magnitude. Okay, uh, that's magnitude two. <laughs> Alright, come on, man. No time to deal with my ears' confusion. Something's not right about this. I bowled out of the conference hall and ran up the stairs to the roof, ignoring the no trespassing signs in my way. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a bunch of stars. The door is open. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the lock has been broken. I open the door and see a billowing cloud of black smoke. Oh, uh, that's what that is. There's some kind of... false foreign dust sparkling in the air. What did you just that say? That's a pretty hard word. Spose foreign. Phosphorin. Phosphorin. Yeah, that one. I think that's right. Phosphorin? Ph ah, whatever. Phosphorin. Whatever. <laughs> An explosion? Oh, God. I don't know what we're doing. An explosion? There we go. There you go. There you go. There you go. I can't believe it. Yo, what is it running an explosion? Uh, my heart is racing. Uh, damn, I don't know what to do. Should I run away? <laughs> but why an explosion? Harris? No, that doesn't fit. I mean, how do you explain that? Wait, what the hell? Is that a shadow? What the hell? I mean, uh, what the hell? <laughs> You might as well add that in there, man. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> a strange machine is sitting in the middle of the roof. That's gotta be like some spatial or something. Yeah, man. Or like a big chimney. Yeah. Uh, sand is coming down there, I'll tell yeah. you. Ooh, baby. It's huge. Maybe there's uh, maybe three meters tall. And it looks kind of like a satellite. Yeah, that's a better, that's a better I think analogy. Is shaking just yeah. now? Satellite. Not bad. Uh... I still think it looks more like a spaceship myself, but... Yeah, me too. <laughs> Who put it here? Was it Dr. Nakamura? Is this part of his presentation? Impossible. Even if that were the case, how the hell would he get it up here? My head is bursting with questions. So is mine. <laughs> I just... As I search for the courage to approach the machine, a throng of reporters and building staff burst onto the rooftop. And that's where we'll so have to call it for now. That's the first episode. Ooh, okay, baby. I'll see you all in the next one. Say bye. Are you safe? Bye.